Hey guys, this is Michelle at Twinksound.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the project window. This video is great for beginners, but if you're already familiar with Cubase, you may learn one thing or two. But if you have any questions, hit me at Michelle at Twinksound.com. I'm going to show you the project window, starting with the upper left corner with the activation button, which is effective if you have at least two projects open. Since you can play only one at a time, select the session you want to activate and turn this one on. Next to it, the constraint delay compensation. Cubase automatically compensates delays throughout the entire audio path. However, when you want to play a VSCI live or record audio, this delay compensation can cause latency. By pressing this button, Cubase will minimize this latency. Those guys right here are a hide and show button for the inspector, which is right here and allows you to see and change parameters on the selected track. The info line, which is kind of the same but for selected audio. The overview, this is like a little map of your project. The pool, that's uh, where you manage uh, all of your imported and recorded audio. The mixer, I'm gonna go through the pool and the mixer in other videos. This one right here brings up the automation panel and you can set the automation writing mode by clicking on this box. Here are some uh, basic uh, transport buttons, previous marker, next marker, loop, stop, play, record. This is the toolbar. When you see this little arrow right here, that means if you click a second time on the tool, you're gonna see some variations of this same tool. For example, right now I have normal sizing, which means I can move stuff around and size my object. But if I click a second time and choose sizing moves content, the start is gonna stay at the same place and the object is going to be trimmed on the other on the opposite side. The range tool is uh, very handy when you want to uh, edit a bunch of tracks or objects. The scissors splits uh, events, the glue puts them back together, erase, zoom, I'm sure you know those guys already. The mute grays out the object you clicked on. You click on. That means that the object uh, still uh, stays at the same place. Uh, it's not deleted. It just doesn't play back. Uh, the time wrap uh, tool allows you to uh, match the grid to an audio file. The pencil allows you to draw automation or volume curves on an audio file. This one right here is uh, kind of the same, but you have like a shape pre-made for you. Uh, the play tool allows you to quickly listen to ind individual parts of your project just by clicking on it. That's the color tool, you choose the color by clicking right below it. And if you want to make your own color, click right here, select colors. Uh, the auto scrolls uh, keeps the cursor in the middle of the window. The, that's the snap button when this, this is on. All your edits you're gonna make are gonna be made according to the grid. And you select the grid, either you want to uh, do your edits by bar or by bit, or by using the quantize and that you can set right here. Here are the different type of grids. This one right here is the snap to zero crossing. And when this one is on, splitting and sizing audio events is done at the zero crossing point. This is um, a zoom of the audio spectrum. So if you have a very low volume uh, audio file, you can turn this one up so you can see what's going on. This is the vertical zoom and uh, this is the horizontal zoom. This is the divided track list. I like to use this one to put uh, my marker and uh, my uh, ruler. So when I have a big session and I'm all the way to the bottom, my uh, ruler is still at the top and I always see it. This is desac to deactivate solo, deactivate uh, mute, deactivate all reading automation or all writing automation. Make sure you follow Winksound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Winksound or search for Winksound on Facebook.